We have arrived in the Brea system. Preliminary scans show automated defenses and a handful of Romulan ships, most likely Tal Shiar vessels. If we're going to reach that planet and beam down safely, we'll have to breach the Romulan defenses. The weapons platforms are probably short range, but we must disable the satellites and any enemy ships in orbit, or any away team that we send to the planet will be in immediate danger. Tactically, it would be wise to draw off the ships and engage them separately from the fixed defenses. The Zedenia is prepared to assist you in the attack when you are ready. Enemy vessel, you are in Romulan space. Leave immediately or you will be destroyed. sensors show that Tal Shiar reinforcements are closing on this location. We must be swift. The Tal Shiar base is mobilizing. We need to hurry if we're going to have any chance to find Hakiv and his Iconian connections. I'll meet you on the surface. We have a problem. The Tal Shiar are trying to jam transporters, and particle leakage from the strange technology here is affecting our targeting sensors. My scientists can't identify the type of particles yet, but several of my troops are reporting in from different locations. Transporters are being diverted. You're on your own for the moment. My scans show that the Tal Shiar have secured some areas of this base with force fields. You'll have to disable them or find ways around them. A key will be somewhere well defended, but we have him cornered now.
of this matters. We just need to open the gate, bring the Iconians here, and it will be over. That was Taurus's plan, too. And you saw how that ended for you. We finally have the opportunity. Victory is within our grasp. You call this victory? It's over. This is done. You're done. No! We can still fin- You! You're the cause of all of this! You don't even understand what you've walked into. You're too late to stop it. A lonely being such as yourself cannot even recognize the true power the Iconians represent. And that any future will depend on a place in their regime. All you've done is arrive in time for the end of existence as you know it. seek your approval of my methods. The crossing of our paths has been fortuitous. It's a pity you cannot aid us further in our liberation. You have my respect and the respect of my crew. If in the future we encounter one another again as allies, I would find this gratifying. I must return to the Zedinia. I recommend you finish what you came to do and leave quickly.
ship of that class. You'd better return to your vessel quickly. are reading a gate opening. There's a ship coming through. Can't get a sensor lock on it. They're taking the Leoval in tow. They're heading back through the gate.
Starfleet will continue the search for Sela's vessel, but as of right now, we have no idea where the Iconians took her, or if she went willingly. I find this turn of events disturbing. Sela's absence will throw the Romulan Star Empire into even greater chaos. We have found that the Romulans are at their most dangerous when their backs are against the wall. Like wounded Salot cats, they will strike out at anyone in reach, and the Federation may bear the brunt of their fury. The return of the Iconians could change everything. I have... Congratulations, Lieutenant Commander. The Federation has offered the Riemann Resistance humanitarian aid and we are working with them to find diplomatic solutions to their disputes with the Romulans. Obasek has asked to speak with you. You can meet his ship in the Hakona system. And once again, please accept my congratulations on a job well done. I have new missions for you. I agree. The Iconians are a cause for concern. Their motives are still unknown to us, as are their plans for the Quadrant. What we do know is that they desire chaos. Many of the problems we currently face can be directly traced back to their machinations. If they had not antagonized the Undine, would we now be at war with the Klingon Empire? It may be that they want the powers of the Quadrant so fractured that we will not be able to unite against them. We cannot allow that to happen. I have new mission. base in the Dara system was heavily damaged by the Tal Shiar. We have reactivated the vault, and we will continue to rebuild it. A place that was once used to create weapons of war will now be a home where all are welcome. We will be free. I have no quarrel with them. My people fought for freedom and for peace. We can learn to live with the Romulans if they will learn to live with us. We will be free. I do not. I know the Romulan military is searching for her, but there have been no indications of where the demons took her, or what their plans for her are. We will be free. My instincts tell me no, but I have no proof. Sela was at odds with the Tal Shiar. I do not think it would have been so if they served the same master. We will be free. The petty arguments and plays for power Sela crushed have begun anew. There are dozens who wish to rule the Empire. It will take some time before a new leader arises. Until then, much blood will be shed. We will be free. I wish him well. I never wanted to rule my people, and I put no restrictions on their freedom. If there are Remans who wish to rebuild their lives elsewhere, they are welcome to do so. We will be free. My people are free, but there is much more to do. The Romulans hate and fear us, and we do not have a planet to call our own. I do not think our fight is over. We will be free. Farewell, my friend. I would welcome the chance to fight by your side again. We will be free. Commander Sarish Minna of Deep Space Nine has requested your assistance with a delicate matter involving Cardassia and Bajor. 